right, Kevin with Wagon Gear back here again, and I just finished putting together the custom actuators for Indian Dock, um, because in his case we're going to go ahead and mount them right there. Um, and as you can see, it looks a little bit different than the one that we've got uh, in the marker light location. Um, the plate is curved to match the profile of the truck right there. Um, and basically, what's going to happen is they're going to go on the inside in there like so. Uh, there's a couple of things to note with the installation, like with all the other stuff. But this is a little, uh, little makeshift because it's the first time that I've done it, so it's kind of a prototype. But I made two extra backing plates, um, and they're labeled right out and left out. So since we are on the right-hand side, we can take this and set it on there. It, it's matched to the profile. Um, and basically what needs to happen is this edge needs to be about 7 eighths of an inch away from that plate. And what that does is leave room for this actuator pole, which sticks out a little bit, to clear the interior surface of the metal that's bound in there. Um, it has uh, flat indexing marks for the barrel of the latch to come through. Um, and those need to be horizontal and vertical, respectively. Um, this edge and this edge are also supposed to be um, vertical. And that's important because that's going to kind of dictate uh, where the latch itself centers back into its location, and you want it nicely up and down. Um, I did have to kind of cobble together a little bit of a stop on the back side of this, so this would be the inside, and this is the top. You can see how the actuator goes. I've actually got a, a little adjuster screw here. It's got some blue Loctite on it, so it's a little stiff. And what that does is actually rotate the stopping point of the cam. And that way, if installation happens and it ends up being a little canted one way or another, you can adjust it by turning the screw. And it changes where the cam sits so that it can look all pretty when it's finished. Um, there is a long and a short cable on these, just like with the other actuator setup. In this case, the long cable goes up. Um, to do the installation, you'll want to have the tail light out, and it'll probably be easier to, to go ahead and remove the exterior portion of the positive air pressure vent, because the cable is going to come up inside and actually go over this vent, just like that, and then it will snake under and forward and go up into the latch as before. This one is pretty much just a wrap around and loop it back up to the latch. Plenty of room on both the cables so you can route them as you see fit. Um, it would be simplest to just go ahead and drill a hole where the actuator would go through the body of the truck. Um, but what that would do is technically allow the entire plate, which I'm taking apart right now, that is right there the extent of the disassembly that needs to be done. All these parts can just stay together. Um, so if you just drilled a, a round hole, what would happen when this goes through the sheet metal, this is on the inside, it would allow the whole thing to rotate a little bit. The nice thing about having a curve on the body here is that um, it can't really rotate very much without binding. Um, but the best way to do it, and the reason why I put these extra little uh, templates in here, grab the right one, is so that uh, you can put tape or layout die or something on here um, and actually scribe that line, drill a hole close, and then just sit there with a file and take it out the rest of the way so that it's a nice press fit on the flaps of the actuator housing. Um, I'll do better instructions uh, once we make sure that the system even works. You're the guinea pig, Indian Doc. So, um, I really think that's about it. Hopefully it works. <laughs> um, it'll be a nice latch location, though. Uh, if I wasn't um, shooting for a completely bolt-in application, which is the reason why we use the marker lights, uh, that's probably where I would have ended up putting the latch for the windows as well. That's up and out of the way. Um, I also did want to note, even though I've taken one of the actuators apart. Obviously I have them labeled right and left, left up, right up. 
Um, because of the fact that I needed to scoop one cable up into this area um, on each side of the trucks, they had to be mirror images of each other, not the exact same thing. So unfortunately what that has means, if I can get it twisted around, what that has done is it means that one of these can't turn counterclockwise, which is kind of the more intuitive unlatching um, way. So the one on the left hand side has to turn towards the truck, and the one on the right hand side has to turn them towards the truck as well. Um, the keys will go in the same way in both of them. Um, they'll go in with the, the tumbler notches to the left, and then they'll turn to the upright to unlock, but they'll both have to turn towards the inside of the vehicle match them because of the fact that I needed the cable to come up in a mirror image of each other. Those are the new actuators.